Read my lips. IT felt like being lost in a deserted airport on the moon, but this week's SNP conference at the new event complex in Aberdeen still had its moments. It started, as is traditional, with veteran pedant Jerry Fisher refusing to stop talking. In exasperation, party bosses cut off his microphone and top officially and McCann tried to make him leave the stage. However the venue's high-tech audio transcription service meant Jerry's unamplified words kept appearing on the big screen, including his Are you following the fatwa? Snarl at Mr. McCann. Light relief. Talking of microphones, Unspun fondly remembers the last Tory conference in Aberdeen, when Ruth Davidson accidentally broadcast her speech rehearsal. Nicola Sturgeon came perilously close to a similar gaffe as she practiced her big address on Tuesday morning. Alas, those hoping for soaring rhetoric or scandal are out of luck. There's a big effing light shining in my eyes, and it's blinding me, the FM was heard complaining. Yeah. heart. Conferences are notoriously boozy affairs, and the SNP's was no exception. Despite lashings of free hooch inside, much of it courtesy of Heathrow Airport, thirsty delegates also managed to drain the soulless hotel bar near the venue, sinking 200 pints of Camden Pale Ale, causing supplies to run dry on Monday, then 360 pints of Innocent Gun. Cheers. Kiss off. Liquor and laughs were also flowing at Monday's media reception, where Nicola Sturgeon gave a speech. I started the morning at some ungodly hour speaking to Piers Morgan on Good Morning Britain, she said, describing the day's blizzard of TV interviews. He actually said nice things about me, which I think is the kiss of death. A judicious pause. Which, let's face it, is the only kind of kiss you would want from Piers Morgan. Boom boom. Sturgical strike. The Scottish Tories copped it next. We have a Scottish Tory leadership election to look forward to, and there seems to be a candidate for absolutely everyone, Miss Sturgeon smiled. Michelle Ballantyne for those who feel the Grim Reaper has gone a bit soft and Jamie Green for those who want to see a new leader with some intellectual heft. Meow. Just kidding. Monday was also the day of the Queen's speech. The government announced 26 new bills, said the FM which allegedly is the same number of bills Boris Johnson has to pay each month in child support. Allegedly. I think I better stop now. Our lawyers think so too. Sterling effort. There was some politics now and again. MEP Alan Smith was overheard discussing his campaign in Sterling, where he hopes to oust Tory Stephen Kerr at the general election. Lots of Tory councillors coming down from Perthshire to defend Mr Kerr. He informed MPP 21 vote majority Wishart gravely. Mr. Wishart was ecstatic. That's great, he replied. If they defend for more on this story, visit the news article link. 